up guys for Complex, I'm Emily Oberg and you're watching Get Sweaty. Today we're here at Con Body in the Lower East Side with my special guest, Chantel Jeffries. Welcome. Um, I'm super interested in science, like I love school. Today we're gonna take her through a prison style workout and hopefully break a sweat. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the lower body, working our quads and glutes with a squat jack. Okay. So we're gonna do 20 rounds. So it's gonna be okay. switching. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you live in LA, but you're here in New York. What are you doing yeah. out here? Um, I was DJing last night, so I had a long night. Need to sweat it out right now. <laughs> um, how did you get into DJing? When did you start? Um, like a year or so ago. It kind of actually started as a joke. Like everyone was like, oh, you're CJ the DJ. You always have the best music. Okay. And then my DJ friends were like, oh, why don't you just actually DJ? You literally have the best like, music taste. Right. So then they taught me and <laughs> I just started. Awesome. <sighs> okay. That's enough for that. So now we're gonna focus on the arms and do some assisted dips. Um, let's do 20 rounds and then see how we feel. And see how we feel. I already know how I'm gonna feel. <laughs> so what can people expect from you from um, the next year? Um, like I said, definitely my new music. I'm actually designing um, oh. a capsule for a clothing line that's coming out in the summer. Amazing. So are you starting your own line or are you working with another brand? No, this is like with um, a brand that I'm working with that I'm designing for them. So hopefully it goes, you know, good. And it's a great way for me to express myself without being like too committed to like having my own right. line because I'm so busy and all over the place. But I think it's a good first step, so. Is design something you've always wanted to do? Yeah, I've always been into stuff like that. Since I was little, I used to like make my own clothes and just do random things. I was always just trying to express myself in whatever way. Mm -hmm. um, so I just think it's really awesome to have the opportunity to do that as I'm older. Yeah. So. so yeah. Okay, let's move on to our last few and then we're done. Right. Thank God. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna do some push-ups on the box. So not as hard as a regular push-up, so it'll give us a little bit of a break. Really? It's not as hard? <laughs> so you were DJing last night? Yeah. And so how do you DJ and then like go to work the next day and just be okay? Oh, that usually is my work, but... Um, I drink green tea. Green and tea. yeah, I can't do like a lot of caffeine, so... I usually do that and try to like make it through the day and then I pass out when I get home for like 12 hours. And so when you DJ, are you like also hosting the party and? Um, yeah, usually I am. Okay. Uh, for the most part. I like that because I get to set the vibe and like, yeah. it's usually a lot of fun. What are your favorite kind of parties to DJ? Like what menus? Um, I like DJing events because you get to play like cool music that people don't really know. Because at clubs, people just want to hear the songs that they know that are like lit so they can sing along, so. But yeah. <laughs> okay, do you think we're good on that one? I was good before we started, but yeah, no. Okay, so now we're gonna do something called the Jane Fonda. It's good for your butt and it's great for the camera. So let's go. Oh. So do you get offended when people call you like an Instagram model? No, it's like I'm clearly not, so like, I don't know. But I actually just don't care. <laughs> what do you think like differentiates you from like the other Instagram girls that are out there? I just like post things on Instagram because I like to. But like... It's not like your job. I don't care to really post if I don't want to, you know what right. I mean? It's not your career. Yeah, exactly. I think that's kind of the difference. Yeah. It's like how you make the most of your money, I guess. Um, do you think that like being an Instagram model is like a negative thing or? I mean, make make your money. I just feel like as long as you, you know, have aspirations and goals of like how you wanna transition that or like, mm -hmm. you know, 
Because, I mean, you can't really do that forever. So. Yeah, do you think, like, social media will change in a few years and that won't be a thing anymore? I think social media is always changing, but I feel like it's just broadening. There's, like, more advertisers and people are using more of their budget online, on social media, on YouTube, mm -hmm. Snapchat, etc. So I just think, especially with the way that Instagram has been changing their platform, especially like the stories and the links and like all the things that they've been doing. Yeah. It's making it easier to monetize and I think in the future with the videos and stuff like that, that there will be more opportunities to monetize on the platform. Totally. Okay, let's do our final workout and then we're done, I yes. promise. Okay, so we do this every episode. It's a plank challenge and we're gonna see who can hold it the longest. I'm you know, gonna make a wild guess that it's you, but. Well, you're competing with the previous guest. So last time the record was a minute and 50 seconds. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just give it your all. Let's try I'm Let's like, go for it. No. Okay, let's start from this side. Let's see. Who can hold? <laughs> see, it's not that bad. <laughs> what are some things people would be surprised to know about you? <laughs> that I can't hold a plank. <laughs> Um. So what are some things you like to do in your spare time that you said people would be surprised at? Um, I'm super interested in science. Like sometimes I'll like go to college campuses and sit oh. in the lectures of like philosophy or physics or just like whatever I'm interested in or like I'll read it or my friends will recommend. And I'll just go and I'll sit in because I always find it so interesting and it's like I love school. I feel like everyone knows something that you don't. So the more you expose yourself to opening your mind and like things yeah. like that. You can learn so much, it changes the whole the way that you think entirely, so. Okay, well thank you so much. Um, everyone look out for Chantel's music coming this year. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Thanks so yeah. much for being on thanks the show. Thanks for having me. Let's get out of here.